Hi everyone, it's Asia and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. For today's video, I thought it'd be a good idea to do a little tour of Honey Cove so far. I do have a few build videos on the channel for the island, but there's a lot that I've done either on my Twitch stream or my own time that I haven't shown you all yet, which I'm really excited to do today. But my island is not finished by any means. I would say it's about 60 to 70% done most of the big areas are finished now so i'm really focusing on those transition areas and making sure i decorate all the little empty spaces that i have but i really feel like i'm improving as a builder i'm so proud of some of the builds that i've done so far and recently i feel like i've reignited my love for this game and for decorating i was feeling a little burnt out for a while so yeah i'm excited to show you guys what i've been up to and let's go ahead and get into this island tour so before we start touring the island, I did really quickly want to show you all my island map. Like I said, my island is not completed by any means, so don't pay too close attention to the map, but I did want to show you all the villagers that I have. Also, in case you didn't know this already, Honey Coast is going to be a fairy forest core island. So that is the theme that we are going for, and I wanted the villagers to kind of fit that theme. So we have Anka, Stitches, Pearl, Agnes, Eric, Renee, Drago, Azalea, Roswell, and Sherb. I know for sure I would like to have Tangy, Coco, and Ioni on my island. So we are definitely getting rid of Agnes. And then I'm probably going to be getting rid of Stitches. And I'm on the fence about Anka or Sherb. I like both of them a lot. I don't know who I'm getting rid of yet. Um, I still haven't decided. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any thoughts on who you would replace if you had the choice. But these are the villagers that we have so far. And let's go ahead and start looking around the island. So when you first come in, here is my island entrance that we just redid. I believe I redid this like last week. I do have a build video on my island entrance. My first one that I did, I did like, but it was super closed off. I feel like you couldn't really see anything else on my island there was a lot of like terraforming going on and it was the first build that i ever did i did like it but i like this a lot better so this is how the entrance looks now and then if you come over this way i'm going to show you all my resident services so i decided to cover it with the little castle wall items and in the back i kind of staggered it so it has some height to it but I'm super proud of this. I really think it changes like the look and feel of my island and gives it that kind of overgrown look. And then if you come this way, this is where we have our shops. I'm gonna come down here. This is a huge empty area that I don't know how I wanna decorate yet, but I'm trying to show you both shops at the same time. But yeah, those are my shops, my Nook's Cranny, and my Able Sisters, which I also covered with the little castle walls. I'm so proud of this little area. Like, I really, really love this area. I like the way that I decorated it, but obviously we need to fill in this empty spot right here. But before we go up there, I'm going to show you guys this side, which is where my museum is. So this was actually my island mood board. I have a mood board video on the channel too, and I kind of created it over here. And then as I was decorating, I thought that this would be the perfect little spot for my museum. So this is where our museum is. I do want to let y'all know, none of my beaches are decorated. Nothing on the beach is decorated yet. I'm really struggling with that part. I have no idea how to decorate a beach. Um, I'll have to do some research and get a little inspiration for that. But as we come up the side, this is just like a little neighborhood area. I believe I'm going to put another house right here and just put a lot of trees and make this nice and foresty and include like a little seating area by this water. Um, this was how my island was when I first got it, so I haven't terraformed this at all. So. I'm gonna leave this like that, but we'll probably add another house to make this a small neighborhood area. And then if we come back up, this is where Azalea's house is. Now I will probably fix the way I decorated it. It's kind of random and I don't really like it. Um, so there's a lot that I'd like to change, but I wanted Azalea to have like a lot of plants in front of her home. So we'll definitely work on that. But if you go this way, I have a little land bridge that takes us right to our shop. So here is my Able Sister shop. And then right across here is the Nook's Cranny shop. 
and there's a little land bridge that leads back this way to the rest of the island so right here this is supposed to be a fairy library I haven't built it yet, but I think this is going to be like a little sunken in secret fairy library down here. That is what I'm planning to do with this area. So I'll probably do that next. That'll probably be the next build that I do. And if we keep on going back, this is kind of random. So ignore this. I was just seeing what the path looked like. I do like it, but not maybe, maybe not for my island. Um, ignore the sugar cane. But I did do this little like lake with a path which i've never tried before but i think it came out really really cool i really like it and i've done the terraforming for this area but i haven't done the decorating yet so this will be another little neighborhood i have one home up here that's agnes's house i believe i have another home over here and then i'll probably put one up here somewhere but for this area i was thinking about making my own little shopping center area like add some little shops in front of their homes and decorate it like that um so i was thinking coco could have like a little eating shop like a food shop and for some of the other villagers maybe clothing shops and we could put the little sewing machine out i haven't quite decided yet but i think that's what i'm going to do with this area make it like a really popular neighborhood spot and then right here, I'm planning on filling this area up with a lot more trees and plants. And then over here, which I believe is my most recent video on the channel, we have my campsite. So if we walk along this way, this is where our campsite is. Red is visiting today, but I'm super proud of this build. I love it. I feel like I, I did a pretty good job incorporating like the forest core and the fairy core elements. In that little spot so i'm really proud of that one and then if we come down this way this is the back of my resident services and i created this little secret seating spot right here i might redecorate the furniture that we have up here but this we randomly did on stream i had no idea what i was building that day i just kind of started building i had this idea and it came out really cool so i'm super proud of this but my goal is to create more like height and dimension with lots of trees and more terraforming in the background so you kind of have some views from this area and you can see more around my island but that's this little spot that i'm really happy with and then we are going to go back up over here there is a home here right now these homes are here for now they're probably not going to stay i think i'm going to move them over to the little neighborhood area on the other side but if we climb up this over here is our little sunken in movie hangout which we also did um, a youtube video on and i did it on stream um this is probably i would say my second favorite build on the island i have a new favorite and i'm about to show you guys that next but i really love this area i think it's so cute i'm happy with how it came out so i'm gonna go back down this way this area is going to be like a little nod to legend of zelda breath of the wild initially i was actually going to do a breath of the wild island like i was going to do a complete zelda inspired island but i feel like that theme was a little too specific at least for me i felt like i couldn't really decorate it the way that i wanted to so this area when i decorate it it'll be like kind of hidden and it'll lead up to this which is supposed to be like my little master sword so we'll see how that turns out and then over here, which I think is my new favorite build, you guys. We just did this on stream a couple of days ago. But this is my little tree house that we just did. So this is the front of it. Of course, I'm going to fill this whole area in with a lot more trees. But if you follow this little path and we climb up, here is my little tree house. I am so happy with this. This was so hard for me to figure out how to execute. I had the idea and I've seen some people do some cool tree houses, um, but a lot of the builds I saw were before the 2.0 update came out. So they were using different items than what I had in mind, but I love it. I love when I open my game and I start off in this little area and I get to climb down like out of my little tree house. I'm obsessed with it. Um, I'm really proud of it. So we're definitely gonna fill it in with more trees and stuff, but <laughs> Here's my little um, beached flowers area that I really need to clean. 
Um, and here's my peninsula, which I think is going to be maybe my yard. We'll put like a cute little seating area out here, something really fun. But beaches are hard for me, y'all. I don't know how I want to decorate my beaches. Um, like I said earlier, I definitely need to look into some inspiration for that. But yeah, that's this little spot. This right here is going to be another little nod to Breath of the Wild. I wonder what they're talking about. Should I interrupt? Let's interrupt. Oh, they always stop talking when I come up. I never get to like tune into their little conversations anymore. This happens to me every time I try to be nosy. I guess that's what I get for trying to be nosy. Um, this little spot is not decorated at all yet. This is going to be like a huge forest area, so I need to do a lot more terraforming and a lot of trees, but I'm thinking about incorporating some little hidden seating areas. Um, so maybe like a little hidden path that leads to the beach with some seating areas over here. But this was supposed to be my other nod to Breath of the Wild, and I wanted to kind of make it similar to the Korok Forest, where it's just like this windy, little area you can kind of get lost in that's definitely going to take me some time because one I need a lot more trees and it's going to be hard to decorate that because it's going to be hard to walk around once I start placing things so that'll probably be coming pretty soon this is all junk um, I definitely need to clean this up I'm struggling with what villager to create the little farm area for like who's going to have all those crops um, but here's Eric's house. I don't know if I'm going to keep Eric's house here or if I'm going to put Eric back in that other little area on the side where I wanted to have that small neighborhood behind the museum. I love Eric, by the way. Eric is adorable. Um, so this could be just another like foresty decorated area. And that leads us right back to our entrance. So that is my little um, tour of Honeyco so far. Like I said, we have a lot to work on. I feel like I've done a lot of decorating, but we still have quite a ways to go. But I did a 12 hour stream a couple of weeks back and I was considering resetting this island, but we just spent the whole day decorating and villager hunting and I kind of fell back in love with my island and with this theme and with the game and just I've, I'm feeling super inspired, so we'll definitely have some build videos coming next week. But let me know in the comments what you guys think of Honeyco so far. I'm super proud of it. If you have any ideas for like how I can do transition areas, how you like to do transition areas, or how you all like to decorate your beaches, I would love to know. I would love to get some inspiration from you guys. Also, if you're interested in joining the Discord, I'll leave um, the link to all my other socials in the Discord channel in the description. So. We can discuss more about Animal Crossing or you all can post your builds on your own island. I would love to see them. But thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate all the support. Thank you all for 700 subscribers, which is so crazy. Um, I'm really, really grateful for you all. And I will see y'all in the next video. <laughs> Bye.